Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you so much for checking into the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. My name is Chase and today we are showing you the Troy Lee Designs D4 Composite Helmet with MIPS. If you are shopping for a good downhill helmet that's downhill certified that is super lightweight, has a ton of venting and in my opinion, just a really cool design, then the D4 Composite is definitely a helmet that you do want to check out. A couple things I noticed right off the bat when I try this on. It's comfortable. I love the fit of this helmet. Remember, we do have our fit guarantee. There's multiple shell sizes, so that way you're gonna get the best fit possible depending on your head size. But if you buy a helmet from us, and if you don't like how it fits, you can send it back in brand new unused condition, and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange to make sure you get the size and the fit that you're happiest with. But on top of that, not only was it comfortable, super lightweight, that's one thing I noticed. And what they're doing is they're using the aerospace fiberglass composite shell with this, and it comes in, at two pounds, two ounces in a size large. So you're getting the protection, but you're also getting a helmet that is super lightweight. On top of that, you'll notice that there is a ton of intake and exhaust vents on this helmet going straight through the EPS liner. In fact, there's 20 intakes on the front. And when you look at the back here, you can see you've got a lot of exhaust vents. Again, you got those cutouts going directly to the EPS liner. So this thing, no doubt, is going to do a great job when it comes to breathability as well. Like I said, as far as the design aspect goes, true, true Troy Lee Designs fashion, very aggressive lines on this helmet. I don't know, what's your opinion? Comment below, what do you think? But personally, I'm a big fan of the overall design of this thing. The eye port on this helmet's plenty large, so we've got some Oakley air brakes that we have in the helmet today, but you know, 100% goggles, Scott Prospect goggles, some of the large ones out there shouldn't have an issue fitting inside this eye port. Now, looking at it, like I said, we already talked about the shell construction, but the visor on here is going to have good adjustability, so that's going to have plenty there. The, the visor screws on here are shear away, so in the event that you do go down to help prevent that visor from possibly adding any additional torque to the head or neck, those visors are, excuse me, those screws are designed to shear off. You're also going to see right here on the sides that they do have some EPP. This is just to help protect the rider's collarbone if you do go down, have a little bit of give right there. You've got the big vents you can see right here on the chin bar. And something else that's kind of unique is that when you look at the vents, you notice that they have what they call in-molded polycarbonate here over top of that EPS. And the purpose for that is just to add to the strength of the EPS and really just the integrity of it. So they just want to protect that because it is pretty exposed with how big those vent cutouts are. So that's the outside of the helmet. Now we're going to show you the inside here. So if I undo my chin strap real quick. All right, so cheek pads, you've got the emergency tab, so when you're trying to get the cheek pads out, so if a rider goes down, you wanna get the cheek pads out before you try and take the helmet off, so they give you an easy way to do that. You just grab these little tabs right here on the cheek pads, and here's some advice too. With these cheek pads specifically, you're not just gonna pull these straight out, you're actually gonna pull these forward towards the chin bar. So if I'm gonna pull forward, and they just pop right out nice and easily. You've got the Ionic Plus Comfort Liner inside here, which is nice and comfortable. It's nice premium moisture wicking antimicrobial. You can take these out, you can throw them in the washer or hand wash and let them air dry, put them back in the helmet, you're good to go. You'll also notice, kind of unique, I haven't seen this yet in a downhill helmet, but you've got EPP right here on the chin bar area. And the reason that a lot of companies use EPP here, so EPP stands for expanded polypropylene, and EPS, which you're gonna see in the actual head area, is expanded polystyrene. The purpose for EPP is that it still absorbs impact and it will, you know, it crushes, but it retains its shape, it has memory. So a lot of times you're grabbing your helmet by your fingers, you're hanging on your handlebars. So this is just to still absorb shock, but it retains its shape. But you'll notice that right here, you've got speaker cutouts. So like I said, this is new to me. It's kind of nice that they are doing that. So if you have a Bluetooth communicator and you want to jam out to some music, they have those cutouts just to make that you know, compatible with the speakers that you might have. But with that being said, I'm going to pop out the comfort liner. Now here's something you need to know about this helmet specifically. The first time that I was pulling this comfort liner out, you're going to start pulling out the snaps in the back. And when you get to the front here, this is what you need to be cautious of. When you get to the front, you notice that you've got this black piece right here and it's actually sewn in. So don't just grab here and pull out thinking that you're just gonna have some snaps up in the front. If you do that, you're probably gonna tear the stitching that's up here. What you need to do is, you can see right here, this black plastic piece, so you have this tan color. The black right here is actually has three snaps and that's what you're going to unsnap and pull out of the helmet to remove the comfort liner. So I'm gonna do that right now to show you just to make sure you don't damage yours accidentally. So what I like to do, how they show me, is I'm just gonna take my finger right here in the corner, just to grab that, and that's gonna give me access to one snap. 
So I'll pop that out, and then I'll just finish the rest of them. So like I said, there's three snaps up on this brow liner here. All right, so with those out, that will give you a clear picture of what I'm talking about. So like I said, this piece right here is sewn in. So if you were just to grab that and pull, you're going to tear it. So just don't do that. So be careful with that. It does take a little bit of work to get it back in there, but it's not a deal breaker. But like I said, it's the Ionic Plus Comfort Liner. Super comfortable. So on the inside with that out, so you've got EPS in there. Like I said, expanded polystyrene. This is what we see in all helmets across the board. It does a great job of absorbing impact. But what's nice though is that when they were designing the D4, what they actually did is they added EPS in certain areas of the helmet where you're more likely to have an impact. So in the brow area of the helmet and the crown of the head back here on the back side, they added as much EPS in those areas as they could just to help us absorb as much energy as possible. Now the last thing that we do need to talk about is that you do have the MIPS liner system. So a lot of people are very familiar with this now. It stands for multi-directional impact protection system. It's a premium safety feature. And the purpose of the MIPS is to create a slip zone or a low friction liner between your head and the actual EPS. And when I take my fingers, you can see this thing moves around very easily. So the purpose for that is we all know that when you do have a crash, you're not just moving straight up and down, you're going front to back, side to side. And so you want to, when you have that crash at that angle, you want the rider's head to slip and move inside the helmet. And what they say that does is kind of slow down and mitigate those rotational forces to the rider's head. So again, it's a premium feature that we're seeing in a ton of helmets. And the reason for that, because it works. And that's it. That is the D4 composite with MIPS helmet from Troy Designs. Again, if you're looking for a super lightweight, comfortable downhill helmet that has a ton of ventilation, good safety built in, definitely one that you do want to check out. If you have questions or comments, we want to get those answered, so make sure leave those in the comment section below. To grab yours today to see all the cool colorways available, click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Also, we do have other Troy Designs helmets. So you have the Stage helmet, which is more of their Enduro style downhill helmet. So if you want a downhill helmet that's certified, you can also do some climbing in, check out the Stage. They also have the A3, the A2, and the A1 half helmets that you can also check out. As always, orders over 75 bucks ship free. If you like this video, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and that will always keep you up to date. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.